Hi everyone, welcome back to Budget with B. Today um, we're going to do a little bit of a new setup for the channel and, and for my cash envelopes. And I'm super, super excited to show you some of the um, things that I've been making and, and um, that I've printed off and bought off Etsy. Um, so let's get straight into it. So um, the first thing that I got, you've probably seen these all around. So um, this is one of the Moterm binders. Now, these are really expensive, um, but I actually got this one secondhand on Facebook Marketplace for a little bit cheaper. Um, so I really highly suggest taking a look um, at some of your options for getting things at a little bit of a discount where you, where you can, because I was able to just use my spending money from last week um, to purchase this. So this is brand new, never been used in packaging and box. So um, let's get it open and I can show you. So it comes in this lovely little dusk, dust bag. And it's in the color that I really love, which is this beautiful teal color. Now, I think it might have just gotten scratched when I was opening it, um, or it might have just had a little bit of a few imperfections, but that's honestly okay because I got it for cheaper anyway. So um, you open it up and it's still got the brand new protector. So I might actually take that off now because I've shown you. So I've got this and it came with the divider and the notepads. So I'll open that up. Um, I think you meant to open it like this. There we go. And then like that. Um, and I've, so it also comes with these little notepads, which I thought would be good for um, keeping track of my totals instead of buying something separate. Like might as well use what I've got um, and just keeping a running total for some of the bigger ones. Um, I probably don't need them yet just because I don't have that much in my funds, but um, I might just take that out for now. So let's get started in making this a little bit of a folder. So I bought some envelopes as well. So what I'm going to be doing is showing you what I got and some of the challenges I'm going to be starting this year. So the first folder is the bank folder. So this one is literally just back to bank or back to account or whatever you like to call it. And I'm going to be putting the money that I have in the good old Ziploc owed back to the account in here. So I'll get that out. This is ready to cash stuff for the next video. Um, so I've got $2, $10, $30, 80, yeah, so three dollars in coins, and then I've got 50, 70, 90, 1, 110, 120, 125. And I like these envelopes because you can literally just put everything in there. You can put coins, you can put um, little whatever you need, and it all fits in there really nicely. And you don't have to worry about the coins falling out, which I know some people are against using the coins in these, but I actually don't mind it. And I like that it keeps it sort of in there and money is money. So I've also got a miscellaneous, which is currently empty. There we go. And I've got a home. This is just for home maintenance or um, little things we might need for the house. So this one, um, as you can see, I've put these little stickers and these stickers I just got from Target and um, they were like $3 for a pack of four different sheets of letters um, and they worked really well. So next I have Splurge, which is actually going to be for now my one of every note challenge that I started. Um, you probably remember. Sorry guys, I thought I wasn't recording then, so I just had to check. So um, one of every note challenge. Oh. 
Okay, so one of every note challenge. Okay, so so one of every note challenge. I've got that here. So this was for the spa, if you remember. So for the spa and slash splurge, I've got 50, 70, 80, 85. So I only need a $100 note, um, but I'm not actually going to the spa until April so, because I've just booked it in because you have to sort of book it well in advance. Um, so I'm going to have plenty of time to get that up a little bit more. All right, so next I have Christmas 2023. So Christmas um, is something that I want to save a little bit more for just because if we do end up needing to go away to visit family or whatever, I want to have a lot there just sitting. Um, so what I've done is I've got a little bit of a challenge ready and I've got, I've got bought gone ahead and bought the Caracash Christmas Savings, which is the little Santas. I don't know if you can see. Um, so I've put $25 per Santa. So I don't have anything towards this yet, but this is something I want to build up across the year ready for Christmas. Let's put that one in there. And next I've got Easter. So this is a bit different with the stickers. I've just found some little stickers I had, which were really cute. Um, so for Easter, I've made myself a little bit of a challenge. So because I ran out of my spending money and I wanted still to have some extra challenges. So I've, I've written this one up. So I've got um, these little stickers and there's 10 of them. And I want to put that it's $10 per... Um, find a pen ten dollars per shape so that would get me a hundred for Easter which is just for Easter eggs or um, whatever we need over that time put that one in there okay so next so that's sort of my sinking fund sort of section. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this divider in and at the front, I'm going to have like my savings challenges. I mean, those are sort of saving challenges, but I want separate sort of savings challenges. Um, so I've got some envelopes here that don't have any labels because I've got the challenges to go in them. The first one is another one I made which is just a $250 challenge. So I've put each of these is $5 and two $10. Um, and I'm not 100% what I'll do with this yet, but it's just something I want to work towards. And it's like a little bit of a smaller goal than some of my other challenges. So it just makes it a little bit more doable. The next one, put another envelope in. The next one is, oh my God, is it this one? Yes. Um, I feel like I've forgotten something. Oh, I know. Before I show you that one, it's the challenge from Cara Cash, the quarter one challenge that I already started in that envelope. So, um, yeah, you've seen this one before. So, so far in here, I've got... 50, 70, 80. So I did have to swap out some of these notes because um, I have to give cash, like some change to someone who bought something on Facebook Marketplace and I had to use that. So I just, it's still got the same amount. It's just different notes, but that's all good. So I've got that one. And then finally, everybody had a sneak peek. I've got this really, really cute challenge from... Um, My Money Matters here on YouTube. She has her own Etsy. I really highly suggest you have a look at her stuff. They're so cute. So this is this little calf saved 200 challenge. So it's a $200 saving challenge. 
Um, she's from the UK, so some of her challenges are in pounds, but I think she um, can change them if needed. This one doesn't have any like pounds on it, so that's fine. But it's so cute. I'm really excited about this one. That's why it's going out up the front, because it's the cutest, in my opinion. All right, so let's do a little bit of a flip through because that's so exciting. So I've got the $200 challenge, the quarter one challenge, the $250 challenge, and then I've got um, Easter, Christmas, a splurge slash um, fun money, home, miscellaneous, and bank. So in my next cash stuffing, you'll be able to see this all in action. Oh my God, that's so exciting. Okay, so um, in addition to this, I did have a couple of other um, things that I wanted to show you. So the first is this little box that I've made myself for the 100 envelope challenge. So this is just like a little box from Kmart, something like $2.50. And then I've just decorated it with some stickers and some nice paper. And I've got the challenge from Caro Cash as well. Um, and this is going towards hopefully a larger travel overseas trip next year, so 2024. And so in here, I've just got my coins and, this, um, and some money. So I've got, I think, $30 or something like that in here so far. And then the other one... It's just a blank box at the moment, but in here I want to put this little challenge that I've got off um, She's on the Money. So She's on the Money is, I believe it's an Australian um, podcast and she's written some books um, and she offers these free to download challenges on her website and it's free for everyone. I can link it down below if you're interested. There's a $1,000, $5,000, $10,000 and $20,000 challenge. So this is just the 1000 and we might be going to Bali this year, later in the year. So if so, I want to make sure we can um, put some extra money aside for that. So I've got this little challenge that adds up. So I'm going to put that one in here and I'm going to give it just a Sharpie. So get it ready. So that one's done. And finally... I just wanted to show you the little budgeting book that I've made myself. So um, I've put budget with V on the front and sneak peek. I'm going to be going through the overall budget with you in uh, my new sort of videos. I don't know if I'm going to do that in the cash stuffing videos or separately. Please let me know down below what you would prefer, um, which I'll do um sort of at the end of each month I was thinking because I can put down like all of my expected expenses and then what it actually cost me and where I'm sitting just because as you can sort of see from my categories in this folder I don't have like all of my expenses in cash just because like I've sort of mentioned before I like having most of it in the bank earning um sort of offsetting my mortgage interest um and I might one day put some more sort of placeholder stuff in like for my emergency fund and that sort of stuff because I think some of these challenges might contribute to that emergency fund. I'm um, getting that up to that $5,000 goal. It's currently at, I think, $4,025. Um, so a bit of a ways to go, but um, that might be just more fun because then I'll be able to restuff that cash into the emergency hopefully, or some of it. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it all, but yeah, I'm just super excited and I hope um, you are having a good week and I hope you've enjoyed this video and seeing my new setup. When I do get paid next, this week, um, I'll be posting another video and cash stuffing some more money. So look out for that. But if you haven't already, please consider subscribing down below. Um, it really helps me. I think I'm up to 49 subscribers, which blows me away. I cannot believe it. I'm so excited. Um, and I'm just so, I'm having so much fun with it. And I think 
that's the main sort of goal with this. This is just to keep it fun, keep it me accountable to 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 these sort of budget goals, but having fun with it too. And I think that's why I'm really enjoying the idea of having some of these challenges because it just keeps it fun, you know, and um, I just have always enjoyed sort of like crafts and um, these sort of sort of things with budgeting and yeah, I'm just super excited if you can't tell already. <laughs> but please let me know down below what you think and if you um, have any ideas on things that I could do differently or um, things that you're doing currently doing for your budget. I'm really interested to hear, but otherwise I'll see you next time. Thanks.